Hey guys, James here again. I'm here um, to rate Mountain Goat, the Zymergus India Pale Ale. Okay, I'm not really, uh, haven't really been reading into this very much. There's quite a lot of uh, things to, that they've written down on the side here. Um, I'm trying to look for a, here it is, 7.5% alcohol. So it's a limited edition. Um, Mountain Goat bring out quite a few of these rare breeds. The last one I had was a Japanese cowboy. I wasn't that um, stat impressed with it, but it wasn't too bad. Um, pop off the top. A little bit of a hiss. Straight away a little bit of fruit and hops. Not too much, but it's not too bad. Now pouring it. Apricotty looks like a bit of apricot. It's not clear at all. Um, it's not clear at all. A um, little bit of carbonation, not much of a head. Well, I didn't really pour much of it, but not much of a head, only half a finger. Nice lacing on the side of the glass. That's a really nice piney, resiny smell. Bit of oranges, some apricots. Um, smells like it looks. Smells like what it looks. That is a really nice. Um, that is really nice tasting. Very typical of your of your IPAs of this um, this alcohol content. Um, beautiful resin, um, pine coming through. It is a really nicely, really good malt on it as well. This is one really good beer. I wasn't expecting this to be so good, to be honest. Quite astringent. Um, <clears throat> It's a very nice mouthfeel. Got a bit of oil, oily kind of mouthfeel to it as well. Um, some good malts. This is a really, this is quite spectacular. I, I wish I was pumped for this, but um, it was just the day today came and um, I haven't had a beer for a while. I saw this in Dan Murphy's and um, I thought, oh, I'll just get that one. I've seen some people. Um, Put it on untapped and uh, they've put some high high ratings on it and um it's yeah it's it's worth it it's um this is this is much better than their their last rare breed ipa um it pour, look 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 at the beautiful color it's not see-through um it's not clear it doesn't look um it's a beautiful color the smell, it's not tr tropical or fruity, it's just a nice um, piney, multi resiny um, aroma. I'm getting something now, I'm, I'm getting more apricots than anything else. Probably, probably orange or mango, that's there, that's with it as well. Um, if you if you can get your hand on this, get it. I'm definitely going to get another bottle if I can find it. If it's at a Dan, if it's still at Dan Murphy's, but um, I'm somewhat very surprised about this um about this um beer. Now that I've poured more of the glass more of the bottle into the glass, um, you get more um get more sweetin you get more sweetness. It's very sweet. It's uh, quite, you can taste the alcohol burn. It is really good though. I might just um, bottoms up. It's given me a bit of, um, it's a bit reminiscent of uh, the Triple Seven by Riverside with that hard malt, um, hard malt profile and the aggressive hoppiness. And this is what I, this is what I'm getting with uh, with this one. It's a, a little bit little bit like the triple seven, but um, I think the triple seven is a little bit more sweeter, a little bit more alcoholic. Of course, the alcohol is a bit more um, higher. 
Um, mm -hmm. But um, geez, I'm 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 digging this. I wasn't expecting it to be this good, so um, I'm gonna tap off and um, just sip the rest of this one. <coughs> and um, my next rating will be uh, Young Henry's Real Ale. I don't think I've had it, but don't know what to expect with that. But um, one more sip while I'm while I'm on. Now that's down to the bottom of the uh, of the barrel. I get a lot more bitterness. It's quite. It's very bitter. You can feel it in the on the tongue. A lot more bitterness. The the malt isn't as um, hard. The malt and the sweetness isn't as hard as I got down to the bottom of the bottle. I'm just act, I'm looking forward to this warming up as well. Um, yeah, great beer if you can get the. Zymurgist, Z-Y-M-U-R-G-I-S-T, India Pale Ale by Mountain Goat, the rare breed. It is, it is actually very, very nice. I'm giving this probably four and a half out of five. Um, see how I go when it warms up, but um, this is, this is a great beer. I'm going to have to get this again. I'm out.